Hi, my name is Wong Xiaoling, holding metric number FTTO 2111. My name is Wong Xiaoling, holding metric number DFOM 231100. Today, I'm going to talk about Sudan Abdul Aziz Shah Airport. Sudan Abdul Aziz Shah Airport is an airport located in Subang Battalion District, Sulang of Malaysia, and served as Kuala Lumpur's main airport from 1965 to 1998. Before the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Kelly in Subang was opened. Although plans existed to convert the airport into a low cost corridor base, the change was opposed by Subang Jai residents. The airport was repurposed to serve the general aviation as well as the turbo prop domestic and international flights. In 1996, the airport was was renamed after Sultan Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah Al Hajj, and Subang Jaya Airport is currently the base of Firefly and Batik Air Malaysia commercial turboprop services. Raya Airways is the only other non passenger, non turboprop aircraft landing and utilizing Subang Airport Terminal 2. And while heavily opposed by Aradamansara residents of the north of the jet engines, Raya Airways to operate out of exactly servicing DHL and other local airports. Now I'm going to talk about the history of Subang International Airport. Work on the Subang International Airport started in 1961 and finished in 1965 at a cost of 64 million, where most of the structure were removed during major construction in 1983. The airport was officially opened to the traffic on 30 August 1965 and had the longest runway, which is 3.7 km long and 45 meter wide, with the runway 15 to in Southeast Asia, replacing Subang with the airport. By the 1990s, the airport had three terminals Terminal 1 for international flights, Terminal 2 for Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Shuttle Flights, and Singapore Airlines, and Malaysia Airlines, and Terminal 3 for Dome. that caused the traffic to be diverted to other airports. By the end of 1997, Subang Airport handled 15.8 million passengers so now my part, I'm going to talk about the accident and incident that happened in Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah or Subang Airport. So since the first opening day in 13 August 1965, Subang Airport already had 5 total accident and incident. The first one uh, accident actually happened in 11 May 1976 when British Airways flight 888 using Boeing 747-100 flight from London to Melbourne via Kuala Lumpur was on approach to runway 15 on Subang Airport and suddenly the aircraft hitting the tree and damaged the main landing gear and the second one actually happened in 20 September 1977, uh, flight with Japanese airline flight 715 using Douglas DC crash DC8. This aircraft crashed into a hill in bad weather while attempting to land on runway 15 at Subang Airport. This crash killing all the passengers on board. The third one accident that happened in Subang Airport uh, happened in Subang Airport in 18 December 1983 on Malaysia with flight Malaysia Airlines system flight 684 using Airbus A300 from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur. The airport the aircraft crashed at two km on the short runway at Subang Airport due to the technical problem to the uh, aircraft. So we're going to talk the the four accident that happened in Subang Airport is in 90 February 1989 the Flying Tiger the Flying Tiger flight 66 with Boeing 747-200F is actually the cargo aircraft that flying from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur the aircraft crashed 12 km from Subang Airport while on approach to runway 33 so the last one uh, accident that happened in uh, Subang Airport is happened uh, in 24 March 2021 with Airbus helicopter A350 B3. B3. This uh, helicopter crashed at the airport and there are total 5 passengers on board with 1 pilot and the total of them is survived with the injured. So, that's all the accident and incident that happened since the first day of the Subang Airport. So now we're going to talk about the conclusion. So the conclusion is Subang Airport is very important to Malaysia. It was the pride of Malaysia and it was the, the inter first international airport in Malaysia and is connected with Malaysia to around the world. It's the best home for Malaysia Airlines since 1965 until the 1989 and 1998. After that, uh, all of the airline moved their HQ hubs to Kuala Lumpur International Airport 